how does it feel after the successful launch yeah it's very exciting feel for us uh, the, the fact that we are able to uh, reach space in our very first attempt and we thank uh, shar team and isro centers very much because without their support it wouldn't have been possible at all did you sleep well last night not at all i have not sleep for a single hour <laughs> take us through this journey how did this begin and over the last two years the building process yeah it, it was it, it started from a concept it, it started from a conception that we should as a, as a step by step process to go to the orbital launch process uh, we conceptualized vikramis to be a suborbital launch where we prove around 80% of the technologies that go into our orbital launch vehicles and with this launch we were able to prove various subsystems like solid propulsion systems the avionic systems that go into orbital launch vehicles have been test proved with this flight and which gives us more confidence to go uh, and attempt our first orbital launch uh, sometime next year you're trying to make satellite launches as simple as booking a cab uh, what would this mean for a common man so satellite technology is everywhere you know so we cannot live today without uh, satellites and uh, you know in the next 5 to 10 years uh, communications and earth observation is going to change human lives and it's going to get much more accessible to everybody and launch vehicles will play a major role in making space more accessible to everybody and that's what we attempt to do you know so and that's then it's that in itself is a multi billion dollar industry in itself you know so which also will open space for everybody and also improve our lives in the future you have received 527 crore as funding with this successful launch you think your valuation will soar no it, it's no it's more about value creation in this industry than valuations per per right. so like of course we are probably been fortunate there were fortunate enough to receive good amount of funding and the investor trust uh, uh, even before our first attempt to launch and uh, this capability proving will of course uh, may make uh, make us stand uh, steadfast in our capability uh, and be able to express uh, uh, to the investor community that a, uh, uh, a capability of such extent is existing in india and be able to uh, raise more funds to Uh, reach our R&D milestones and also the further orbital launch. Give us a sense of the unique features of your launch vehicle. So one of the first unique feature is like uh, it's it's built with completely you know carbon fiber structure. The entire core structure of the rocket is built with carbon fiber. Lastly, in terms of public interest versus commercial interest, what will be a focus? What will be a priority? so we we are a fully commercially focused uh, uh, in, in general so uh, commercial space sector is is a booming industry and we intend to cater to the commercial space sector uh, over the coming months and cost of this project uh, so that's confidential bit so you know we'll not be revealing revealing it right now yeah and any specific plans beside what's the business model so basically we are a, uh, essentially a transportation service from earth to orbit uh, uh, and uh, this uh, the first step of us is essentially proving the capabilities that are, that are needed to be able to render that service from next year onwards we will be starting commercial operations by rendering orbital launch services to the customers